Welcome back to the Roadshow this morning. The buzz as more children are being diagnosed with autism, there is a growing need for alternative treatments. And one California mother says medical marijuana has made vast improvements in her autistic son. Her 10 year old boy, Joey, is severely autistic. He weighed just 48 pounds. But Joey's mom claims that all changed when she began giving him marijuana brownies. Take a listen to what she had to say. Everyone who came to my home was watching me watch Joey die. He was deteriorating hourly. They're seeing Joey come out. He's never made noises. We didn't even know he could make noise until the first batch of brownies. Now, medical marijuana is often prescribed for cancer or AIDS patients who need to gain weight, but a prescription to a child is unusual. The American Ac Academy of Pediatric Pediatrics opposes the legalization of marijuana, but they say they support more research. And uh, though there's absolutely no evidence that marijuana cures autism, this mom, and actually a local mom, too, here in Rhode Island, say they both say it's improving the quality of lives of their children. A local Rhode Island mom took to her blog saying she's using medical marijuana to ease the symptoms of her son's autism. And in her blog post, Why I Gave My Son Pot, my nine-year-old pot at double X, mom Marie Mayung Oki Lee, Lee talks about how she uh, obtained a prescription for mar medical marijuana for her son and the results of what she calls the cannabis experiment. So the question here is, is it appropriate to be giving children marijuana to treat autism or really to treat anything? Uh, with what, 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 Go ahead. She never speaks. You tell me. I, I, you know, I think that research needs to happen. I think uh, clearly this child is improving. They were saying that he needed to gain weight. He has gained weight. Uh, apparently it is working for some people, but I think that this is a very slippery slope. I think that uh, just like prescription medications can be used in an off-label type of way, marijuana is being used in an off-label type of way, if you can, if you can call it that. Mm -hmm. um, but I am very concerned about what I'm seeing happening in California where people are uh, just being written these medical marijuana of prescriptions willy-nilly and uh, and smoking up so uh, I don't think there's enough uh, oversight over all of this and I don't I don't completely understand why some people smoke it some people take it in a in a food form, form. Uh, you know why well, is, you know, a 10 year old can't smoke of course and but I but should anybody be smoking I mean maybe it should be reduced to a pill form or something I don't know I don't know clearly she said you know my child was 48 pounds this stimulated his hunger but is there nothing else that can stimulate a child's hunger in that way that's that's what makes me uh... that's what do you think well you know in a way I agree, I agree with the slippery slope you know are, are we are we medicating our children to a point where they quote unquote behave I don't have an autistic child thankfully but I do have a friend who does have an autistic child who is at a point where she can no longer control him and is at this heartbreaking point of nearly having to put him in a facility mm -hmm because he bangs his head on a wall uncontrollably until he He's bleeds. He's a danger to himself and to other people. And that's correct. So does the medical marijuana go and calm him down to a point where he doesn't do that? Right. If that's the case, is it justifiable? You know what I have to say? His, uh, the initial fight with cancer and with AIDS, with, with giving them marijuana, I can understand being a major issue because it's like marijuana, how is that going to cure yeah. anything? We, I, have, I have three, uh, uh, two nieces and a nephew that have uh, a, something that's very close to autism and they're looking for a, a treatment for them. Mm -hmm. Anything that can help them, especially if it's natural, mm -hmm. I think, you know, it's... I I, I, I mean, I don't well, want to use know, it as a natural. Uh, excuse me, cocaine's natural too. Ex yeah. Well, exactly. But so. th this is this is the point. If we're going to put kids on Ritalin, we're going to do stuff like that. I, I That's chemical. Saying. This is. I just. It's, this is still a chemical I know. Change. It's still. It's still. It's, it's, it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. At, at, at this point, I mean, there's no. There's no other. There's no other way. And if it's improving this kid's life, I can. I. The thing I can see is is the parents just. They're at wit's end. Yeah. They don't know what else to do. Yeah. But if this is working... No, I understand that. You know. That's my point. Yeah. They're at wit's end. They don't know what else to do. Yeah, and certainly it's, and so, it's heartbreaking. You know, Courtney, I want to bring you into this because certainly it's, it's heartbreaking to hear this mom's story of this child who was underweight. She said, you know, people were just watching me watch him die, and I was looking for something. And, and certainly I think most people can sympathize with the ache that she had to, to help her child, at least. Yeah, on the live blog, they're actually agreeing with what she's doing. And there's one woman on Facebook who doesn't, so I'll get to that 
that. Let's head to foxprovidence.com on the live blog. And Smokey Wolf says, if it helps keeping him focused and helps him in any other way, why not use it? And this one's from Lisa, and she says, she says, well, if she's tried everything else and nothing else helps, then I guess so. But it is shocking to hear what made her start trying, what made her think it would work. So there are some questions being raised out there. And um, here's our poll right now on the homepage of foxprovidence.com. Do you think the prevalence of medical marijuana has led to its overuse? And your choices are A, yes, it's becoming too common, or B, no, people should use it if it works. Here's a snapshot of our Facebook page. We've got a couple of comments and um, Carol says she really does think that it's being overused. Giving mar medical marijuana to a 10 year old is ridiculous. So if you guys want to weigh in, uh, jump on the live blog if you haven't already or come on our Facebook page. I'll be back at the end of the show with your poll results. For now, back to the kitchen. Lily, what's going on?